is going on guys welcome back to bagging outdoors today just drove onto the lake um fishing a new lake today i am out here and we're gonna be doing some ice camping i know i've made a few ice camping videos in the past but today we're hoping for a giant um i know there's some really really big walleyes in this lake and there's also trout pike crappie anything like that we can catch out here but the main goal is to catch hopefully a 30 inch walleye so we'll see it's just be me myself and i out here and uh yeah we'll get set up here i'm sitting at about 30 feet on a point with a pretty steep brake line so hopefully i can catch a big old walleye Just kind of got set up. I did put a tip up like right there. And uh, car's right here, shack's right here. Come inside, we got the uh, 20 pound propane. If you're gonna ice camp, you're gonna want the 20 pound propane can so you don't have to constantly switch it out. And uh, there's the heater right there. One hole, got my chair for jigging. And then that's where I'm gonna sleep. And I did manage to forget my pillow and blanket, so I might have to make a run to Walmart later tonight. We'll see how that goes. Be good. Yeah. Catch anything yet? No, I just had my first decent mark bite it though. I don't I don't think I'm gonna catch anything until it gets dark though, because the water's so damn clear. I'm actually marking something decent right now. It's like a trout or some shit. It's a pout? A trout or something. Oh. Just flying around. Alright, I gotta shower quick. Alright. See ya. See ya. Got him. This is a decent fish, guys. First fish of the day. What do we got? Oh, we got a big old. Cisco. These guys are stinky. I think he was chasing me around for a while, but it looks kind of cool. Woo! I think I'm going to keep them for bait. They work really well for a big pike, so I think we'll keep them for bait. First fish of the day, Cisco. I'm going to keep them for bait and, uh, yeah, I've actually never caught one of these guys before, so pretty cool. For those of you who are wondering what I'm using, this is just a little VMC uh, rattle spoon with a minnow head. Pretty much catches just about anything in the lake. If it gets later on, I'll probably move to uh, a bigger one that glows so I can just single out walleyes and stuff like that. Bigger presentation in the dark. Oh, that was a walleye for sure, guys. For sure, a walleye. Come on, come back. I've just been marking, like, I kid you not, like 50 just tiny little fish. I'm not sure what they were. Probably perch or shiners or something. And then I was just marking a singular mark on the bottom. And that was definitely a walleye. So That's a good sign. The water's really clear, so... I wasn't really expecting to get anything until the sun started to go down and the sun basically just hit the trees, so should start getting more walleyes here. All right guys, uh, little update. It's been a while since I last had that walleye bite and uh, I did have a tip up, I didn't have it on camera, but I ended up missing it. Been marking a couple fish, but uh, it's getting pretty late, so I think it might be time to go to Walmart. So I'm gonna go to Walmart, get a pillow, and I'll be back. Four dollars for a pillow. That's uh, that's why we came to Walmart, folks. Saving the day at Walmart. I am pretty happy about that. Just made out like absolute bandit. Pillow, blanket, and a can of Chef Boyardee. 
for less than ten dollars i don't even care if i catch a big wall anymore we got the goods today's episode is sponsored by chef boyardee spaghetti and meatballs such a good ice camping meal Well, oh, I think we got one here. Got him. Doesn't feel too big. Probably not the 30 incher we want, but we've got a fish. And it's probably not a Cisco. We got Chef Oyardee on the heater. It's not a bad walleye. Here we go. Nice little, I don't know, 18, 19 incher. I'll take it. First walleye of the night. They do get bigger. But, again, I'll take it. Buddy's going to join his Cisco friend outside. So this is what I caught the fish on. Got a really lively sucker with a little treble hook there. It also glows. And then the split shot is way up the line so the minnow can swim around really freely. And then I just put that like two feet off the bottom or so. All right guys, it's currently about midnight and I haven't gotten a single bite since I caught that walleye. So I think I'm gonna go to bed and uh, I still got the rider rule down and I do have a tip up outside so I can still catch fish while I'm sleeping, hopefully. And uh, yeah, next time you see me, I'll either have a nice walleye or it'll be morning. Well, good morning, everybody. I haven't had a bite in a while, so a good change of pace i think it's like 7 a.m right now but at least i was able to get some sleep all right so that fish ended up taking the minnow off the hook and if i zip her up the door it is pretty bright outside already so don't think I'm going to be getting any more walleye bites. I um, think I had four walleye bites the entire night and only got one of them. So um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to get packed up here and then uh, maybe head to a different lake and make a different video camping on a different lake. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And as always, remember to keep on bagging them.